Now, France is a land of rich foods like cheese, pastries, not to mention the wine, but its obesity rate is less than half ours here in Australia. It's fascinating. Mm. So fascinating. French author Marie Giuliano explained the discrepancy in French women don't get fat. Now, in her latest book, she's telling us why French women don't get facelifts. <laughs> I love this. She joins us now. <laughs> Tell us the secret. Bonjour. Bonjour. The secret is aging with attitude. And it's a cultural mindset because in France we have this saying, la vie commence à 50 ans, life starts at 50. And really, lady, you don't know what's awaiting you. The best part of life is yet to come. Okay, so what's the difference in attitude? You live part of the year in New York, so you mm -hmm. know American women. Yes. Uh, and you know, I, you know Australian women fairly yes. well too. What's yes. the difference between, how do French women approach it differently? Uh, basically, it's a youth culture in America. Mm. So they are with, you know, the advertising and everything bombarding you, making you nervous and obsessed uh, with eternal youth, which uh, doesn't exist. Mm. <laughs> and the French, uh, we are an old culture. So we believe in um, aging with attitude and we want to prepare for that, uh, for that 50 plus. And we have a lot of little tricks and tips, nothing fancy, nothing expensive, nothing out of this world that's going to put pressure on you and deprive you, but just part of the joie de vivre. And it's a, a mindset, a strategy that you develop over the years mm. and that helps you because, of course, you know, the title uh, contains a wink. Like French, there are some French women who do get fat and there are some French women who do get facelifts, but as a last resort. But in general, you're very chic women. Yeah. As yes, a, and, uh, you know, at 50, uh, French women 50 and up, they want to be able to uh, look good, to feel good, to seduce, to flirt, mm. etc., etc., mm. and not stop because they just are 50. And a lot of women I talk to over the world, but particularly in news culture, um, think that, you know, life is kind of over and give up. Give up. Mm. Mm. Or just start sticking the needle in, so to speak. <laughs> um, now, you have some feel-good anti-aging foods. Yes. Tell us about your secrets. Well, many of them, of course, uh, I would say, you know, the lemon, the honey, the vinegar are part of my life, both inside and outside. Uh, but there are many good foods that you know about, the berries, the greens, but the very, very best in all my talks, people have a hard time guessing, what is the best food for women as we age? What is the only food we can have more of as we age? Yes. Oysters. Oysters. Oh. Perfect food. Oh, really? oh. It's the total antioxidant, <laughs> vitamin E, <laughs> vitamin B12, oh, iron. Else? You don't like it? <laughs> no. Is there oh, anything oh, else? Oh, I'll have to, and I'll have to teach you how to, oh, you have to train the oyster. Okay. Plus aphrodisiacs. Oh, okay. Hey. Yes. yes. Excellent. You're clever, Marie. Mm -hmm. And and really, we have to go. But um, the secret, yeah, your hair secret. My hair secrets are uh, very simple. Um, once or twice a month, I do a rinse with lemon juice or red wine vinegar. Lemon juice gives a nice shine, so mm. does vinegar, but the vinegar also helps um, limit hair loss. And as we age, we tend to get thinner hair. Mm. And yeah. you know, we don't, French uh, women like natural products. We don't go until all this mm. very expensive uh, portion. We do mask, you do a vinegar and honey mask. Uh, olive oil mask and this really uh, gives a nice massage to your hair. Lovely. I'm going to do, I'm going home to put the vinegar in my hair today. Yes, <laughs> because you always think of French products and those very, very expensive ones yeah. that we need to buy. So the secret is this good. Thank you so much. Yeah, fabulous to meet you. Oh, love the you. first book and we love the second book too. Uh, enjoy Thank Australia. Thank you, Mariah. Thank <laughs> you. Good luck.